Well, the background of this campaign is the inaugural flight of Space International Airlines to Beijing, the direct flight between Zurich and, uh, and Beijing. And that's what we wanted to, uh, to bring to the public uh, with, the, with the campaign. The campaign was done mainly by Switzerland Tourism together with astronauts, with our agency. We are thinking about how to communicate the convenience of a direct flight from Beijing to Zurich. So the basic thought was that Switzerland has moved a little bit closer to China, which can be communicated through a Chinese saying which says something is so close that you can touch it. And so Switzerland is so close you can touch it has become the campaign slogan. We wanted to do something special. We wanted to do something which, which uh, really uh, attracts a lot of people. We wanted to talk to the end consumer in China. For this launch, Swiss Tourism and Swiss International Airlines wanted to give away a big prize. Six people from China could go to Switzerland for a whole week. Now big prizes like that quite often attract a big audience. But the audience does not engage in the brand itself. And this is why Swiss Tourism asked us to build a campaign around this prize pool. It's mainly an online campaign, but which has a start uh, in the offline area. So it's a sticky pad campaign. We used sticky pads, red and white sticky pads, which we distributed to the public. The sticky pad came with this little flyer, which explained everything. Which is basically to stick a Swiss International Airline pin somewhere, make a picture of it, upload this picture to your own Weibo account with the hashtag Switzerland is so close that you can touch it. With this hashtag we could find it again. That's how they actually qualified for taking part in the, in the team. We thought wouldn't it be great if there would be sticky pics all over Beijing, like in private homes, in offices, in shops, maybe even in car windows. Now when the first sticky pics came in, we saw it was exactly like that. They start to be creative and it got some kind of a self-dynamic that people want to do better than the others. They started to perform around the image and did wonderful pictures. It was very much surprised by the, by the emotional attachment that it all had. People understood really the message of Switzerland coming closer to their homes. We want to use Weibo as our, as our channel, which is, and we found that out actually through the campaign, which is an ideal and a very focused instrument to talk directly to the people who are actually already uh, very much in favour of Switzerland. The prize was huge, so we wanted to show people that this is a genuine event. We asked the Swiss ambassador to pick 50 shortlisted people. Then we invited everybody who was shortlisted to a party in a club. Everybody could put their name in a little red ball. And at the highlight of the event, the winner was picked. Life. Yang Yang. The other side, a very surprising thing, was more on, let's say, on the, on the cooperation side, actually the cooperation with Astronaut, which it was one of my first projects in China, I think, in six years, which was completely without any unexpected accidents. Uh, it was very well structured, it was very well planned from, from the start to the beginning, and it was a success story.